So today we're going to be trying this uh, Tinted Live Skin Tint. It's a Hugar Tint SPF of 50. Really love that. In the shade 2. This was actually sent to me. In PR, it's clean, vegan, cruelty free. Apply onto skin using your fingers or sponge. Feel free to layer until a desired level of coverage is achieved. It's buildable, so we love to hear that. Um, it's a minimal mineral sunscreen. I'm trying to see if there are any other claims. This clean mineral SPF 50 has the perfect amount of weightless, flexible coverage to leave your skin looking natural and radiant, made with butterfly, bush flower extract, Indian gooseberry, and hyaluronic acid for all dehydration. Um, so we're gonna try this out for the oily girls all across the world. Um, let me give y'all a look at the packaging. It says to apply with your fingers or a sponge. Um, I don't apply my foundation with a sponge anymore. So we're not going to follow the directions. Um, active ingredient zinc oxide is in here if you care about that. And I also want to say my, my brush is clean. I just think because I'm so lazy and I don't clean it enough, um, it is... Uh, not giving off clean okay first things first let's talk about the packaging i twisted this thinking it was like a squeeze i love this i love this i love this for us all right so you know the first couple of squirts are air i'm gonna do three we gonna see what that does because this is buildable lot of the foundations that I've been sent recently aren't that much of a match to my skin and they're actually dark so I am thoroughly surprised by this like I thought this one was going to be too dark as well because the last two were too dark just based on me like guessing and you know sometimes with packaging depending on the container that they're in um the color can just kind of be off and again you know i am actually almost always okay with a darker shade because darker shades work better for me in the summer um, and then they also work better for me when I want to use a little bit more in the contour and highlighting. Now immediately this real dewy. So if you like dewy, this is probably going to work for you. I'm immediately thinking, girl, we gotta put some powder over this because I don't like dewy at all. But nonetheless, we're going to stay the course. And so I'm just putting a little bit more in this area because um, it is where I have a little bit more hyperpigmentation. In general, the coverage is decent. Okay, so initial thoughts. I feel like it's a little bit too dewy for me, a little bit too greasy for me. I did have to go in with some pressed powder to kind of tone it down. It blended and worked really well with all of my other products, which I love. It, it still gives a certain finish. It didn't make my other products weird. Um, again, it's a skin tint, so you can't really expect to get like... Um, I guess a mattifying finish because that's not what it says uh additionally i feel like the shade their color matches a1 i love that it has the 50 spf um i also like the creamy consistency i just wish that it was not so dewy with it i think that's a bit much easy application for sure coverage definitely is buildable um i'm gonna wear it and so because i mixed it with other products i'm gonna try it out for the hours that i have it on today and hopefully i remember to come back and let y'all know like before i wash my face it probably ain't even gonna be 
eight hours to be honest because it's 12 30 right now i'm probably not gonna make it to nine o'clock with the six um because i don't have that much to do but immediate thoughts if you like a dewy finish this is perfect for you if you want full coverage but you want skin tint and you want to be able to build that with the spf as well this is definitely something for you brown girls if you're similar to my shade this is a perfect match for you yeah so let me know what y'all think in the comments all right so it is 8 58 i actually did keep this on longer than i thought i am tired i started cleaning up and i did not clean my face off yet so here y'all go I am so thirsty and I'm tired. So yeah, final thoughts. I feel like it holds up really well once I do all of my normal techniques. We have a little bit of that oiliness breaking through there. A little bit here, but I also used highlighter. So that's still pretty minimal. Um, in general, I feel like this performed really well. I did get hot at certain points cleaning up. Well, like, girl, it's also lightweight. I don't know if I mentioned that, but I just feel like it's very light. So I don't feel like I have a whole lot on my face. I don't feel like it's caked on either. Um, but yeah, what y'all think? Like, to say it's been however long it's been, y'all feel like it performed pretty well, or am I tripping? As y'all can tell, I'm tired. <sighs> I'll see y'all next time. <laughs>